Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV and White Mage Quest Level 45. Your command of white magic has advanced considerably, Serenia. Yes, the time draws near. Let us begin our preparation for the quieting. At its root, the ritual is no different from the acts of pacifying that you have already performed. The difference lies only in the difficulty of the effort. The Great One possesses a power unfathomably more immense than the elementals you have communed with thus far. Power so immense that a mage might easily be overwhelmed by the sheer force of its will. To prevent such a catastrophic fate, our tradition decrees that a special garb must be donned before performing the ritual. I have prepared for you these pieces, but I fear they will not avail you in their current state, so it is what I would send you on a journey. I trust you know the story of Atoa Kent. Where among Pajal he left the forest behind to travel the realm, healing the land and its people. As tribute to his wanderlust, after he passed his ashes were divided among several urns, which were in turn carried to the far edges of the realm. And it was there, in the distant lands of a great mage so loved that his ashes were buried and monuments erected in his honor. You are to go to, on a pilgrimage to these sites and receive a blessing of your forebear. Only then will the garb I gifted you be imbued with, its, with his divine power. Mind you, you will find that these places are not as welcoming as they might have been in Master Atoa's time. The first site is on the shores of Western Anosha, in a place now feared as the Serpent's Tongue, home to a band of vile pirates. The next will be found in Mordona, in that overgrown labyrinth of, of roots and vines, so affectionately known as the Tangle. I do hope that Master Atawa's ashes has survived those most oppressive environs. The third site I would have you visit is perhaps the most treacherous location of a lot. Rauban's Push in, the no in Northern Tenerlan, a stone throw from an Imperial stronghold. I urge you to exercise extreme caution. Healer's Gloves. Right. But no. No material slots, so... Overall, probably slightly weaker, but... Okay, I hunt a bit and then we go to Mordona. Some mobile.
Okay. Just a pair of woolly panties. Your safe return heartens me, Serenia. I feel no pound, newfound power emanating from the garb I gave you. I trust that this stage of your pilgrimage was a success. Now that you have traveled the realm and seen the land as Master Atoa did, I would share with you the rest of his tale. This the histories claim that Atoa can't disappear in the mountains of Ogomoro, a cowboy motherland. This is not true, and there's more to the story. When the great mage did not return from his journey, one of his most devoted students went in search of him. As the legends have it, the young mage single-handedly fought off veritable legions of kobolds by scouring the mountains for any sign of his master. Sadly, it was as, he, as all had feared. Though the young mage eventually found his master, the great Atoa can't lift no more. As if the death of a man were not enough, Tyrus, Atoa Khan's great staff, a mighty relic passed down by his ancestors, was lost to the shadows. Undeterred, the young mage fought off a cobalt horse to carry his master's remains back to the surface. A ceremony was held to honor Atoa Khan's life's life and deeds, and urns housing his ashes were carried off to the far-reaching frontiers of which he was so fond in his living years. All the urns, that is, except for one. Yes, though the precise location is known to only a few, Master Our Tower also rests closer to home. Here in the Twelfth Sword, not far from Proud Creek, Creek, you will find yet another monument to the Great Mage. Take with you this habit, and pay your respects as before. If you keep pu pure intentions in your heart and in your mind, then the healer's robe shall be your reward. But since this is a level 45 quest, it won't end here. Because we only get the pieces except the chest piece. And this is the chest piece. So something will go wrong here. Okay, what is going wrong? The 
the grave has been defiled and its contents appear to have been stolen. The power, power of a tower can't, can't, has been lost here. Return to Camp Tranquil and seek the counsel of Ryo. A new habit for a white mage, or a habit for a new white mage? The unholding master at Toa's ashes was stolen? This cannot be. It is. Grave robbery is a damnable enough crime in itself, but what manner of scoundrel would dare defile the resting place of a pagel? Rest assured that I am but I will investigate this heinous crime immediately. In the meantime, your pilgrimage demands you travel to one last destination. The final lack of your journey will take you to the very place that, Adwa that Master Atawa drew his last breath, Ogomoro, the homeland of the kobolds in the outer land of Sia. It is there in plain sight of a kobold dig that the student of whom I spoke did erect a monument to his fallen master. Come here, Cobalt, and die. Epitaph to Aspire. And the headpiece. <laughs> Back to Raya O for now. Welcome back, Serenia. The journey was not an easy one, I trust. And yet I knew that Master Toa would guide you safely back to me. In your travels, have you, you have received the blessings of our great ancestors. And yes, it this was not the sole reason I sent you on this pilgrimage. Perhaps you sensed something of my intentions during the trip? Yes, as she who would inherit Master Toa's legacy, I wanted you to truly walk in his footsteps. To see the realm in both its beauty and its suffering with your own eyes as the ma great mage did so long ago. And yet it is strange, no? A pirate's, pirate's lair, a rampant jungle, mountains of fire, of all the hostile environs to which you journeyed, the single grave the spoiled was that, tr that which rests right here in our forest home. I suspect this was the handiwork of no witless grave robber, but rather someone who knew all too well the value of that which was buried within. We must uncover the truth behind this crime and return Master Toa's ashes to their rightful resting place and quickly. You're with me, yes? Was it a level 40 quest only? No, I got the items, but it was level 45. But another one. Quave Robbie is a loathsome enough crime in its own right, but to defile in the final resting place of a Pajal, such an act could only be performed by the lowliest of bandit scum. Though I would like to think that the elementals have already delivered due justice to the villain, we must take no chances in allowing escape. Whilst you were away, I put my best Moogle on the hunt, searching for any sign of a culprit or the stolen remains. I dare say he should have a clue or two for us by now. At least he better if he values that little ball on his head. 
Suffice it to say, though many forest born think the Mughals are as blessed, my own personal experience has found them to be more touched than anything else. Capture Cooper. Oh, mistress, you shouldn't say such hurtful things as most unbecoming of a seat, Sia Cooper. But fine, don't listen to me. Why, I told her just the other day that this is why she remains, um, shall we say, unspoken for? She might not react to that phrasing of her present, but her ire was indeed fierce, Kubo. Of course, you have not come to discuss my mistress's temper, but the grave robbery, a most unforgivable act of villainy, if I do say so myself, which I believe I just did. I'm pleased to say, and you will be pleased to hear, that the culprit did not escape Mughal eyes. Well, my eyes, he did escape. My associate Puklopoki, however, claims to have seen a band of ruffians skulking off in the direction of Red Bell Belly Hive with various and sundry stolen goods and tow. Among them, a rather conspicuously elaborate urn, Kubo. I do not know what the Red Bellies are up to, but surely it cannot be nothing good. Please go quickly. If the urn is lost, I, I fear why I owe. I will be the least of my worries, Kubo. Unspoken for, huh? Wondering where that goal is. Those thieving crooks, those crooked thieves, defiling resting place of a pageant? Why, no amount of thrashing, lashing, and bashing would suffice. And Kupapo? Why, if it isn't the lovely white mage Kupcha Kupo spoke of. And not a moment too soon. Why, I just was about to swoop and give them their come uppance myself. Now, but you're here, however, I believe I just sit back and enjoy the show. Kupo. Those vile wet bellies tossed the urn onto some ramshack wagon, a most ignoble, ignoble fate for a pageant legend, I do declare, and and carted it northwise toward the hive. You will retrieve it safe and sound, won't you, Cooper? Uh, hopefully. Overloaded wing. And back to Raya O. Here's the ashes. Thank you, Serenia. The remains of our exalted forebear, hauled away by brigands like a sack of loot, is that what our land has come to? There can be no doubt. It is the Great One's few that bring such chaos and to the twelfth wood. The situation is grave indeed. I shall have our woodwillers deal with the wet bellies. 
we have more important matters before us. Yet I fear we have hit another snag. What we own has been safely recovered. The harsh treatment it suffered at the hands of the bandits has taken its toll. Uprooted from its proper resting place, the power of a tower can't once housed within them has grown dim. I shall return the urn to its rightful home. Perhaps over time it will return to its former state. And yet I fear time is a luxury we do not have. We must explore other means to enchant the ritual garb. I will consult with my brother to see what knowledge he might have to offer. In the meantime I would have would ask that you master your newfound skills as best you can. There is no telling when the Great One's fury might grow too strong to contain. We must ever be prepared. And we learned holy. Okay. And then let's take a look at holy and then a time skip until we level. Okay, back. Heart of a forest. Forgive me, Serenia. Brother and I have considered every possibility and attempted every incantation at our disposal, but I fear the task of completing the enchantment has proven beyond our abilities. No living Padja, not even our sister, possesses such power. Without the blessing of a Tower Kant, there is nothing we can do. With the Hashas return to their rightful resting place, a Tower Kant spirit will return. Surely it's only a matter of time. Look around you, sister. Open your eyes and ears. Time is one thing we do not have. A rune? The fury of a great one mounts with each passing moment. It will not be contained much longer. No, the time for waiting is long past. Now is the time for action. But Serenia's gap, the enchantment is not yet complete. The situation is far from ideal, yet we have no choice. We must trust in Serenia's powers and do what we can. Do I hear you right, Arun? Why, it was not long ago that you objected to Serenia's very presence at the ritual. I may be stubborn, sister, but I'm no fool. I've witnessed Serenia's abilities with my own eyes. There can be no doubting that she's a mage of the white, one as worthy as you and I. Thank you, Arun. Arun, uh, if you would place your trust in Serenia, so uh, I see no reason why I should not. Very well, let us hasten for Evershade. And back here where our journey to become a proper white mage started. Serenia, I speak to you now as my peer. The fate of Gudania lies in the balance. We cannot fail. Is something the matter? There's no time to lose faith in your abilities. Hurry and take your place.
Someone doesn't like us. The Great One's rage is too strong. We cannot reach him. Stay focused, Arun. If we fail, Gu will rise to take our place. But, sister, the force itself turns against us. If we can only reach the Great One, his minions will relent. Cast away your worries and focus your mind on the ritual. No. Serenia! Stand strong, Sterenia. Are you going to let some overgrown shrub ruffle your feathers? Ooh. And the two of you, don't you have a ritual to perform? Do my eyes deceive me? There's no time for chit chat. Raya O, Arun, Serenia, focus your energies on the Guardian Tree. We must quell the Great One's fury. Dispatch its minions and resume the quieting. The tree has a permanent dot. The Great One is consumed with grief and anger. Our words will not reach him in this state. Fear not, my children. I will protect you. Focus your energies on the quieting. Yeah, the tree has a permanent dot, and if it dies, we have failed. Fury of a gate one is somewhat quelled. We get more friends. Out of my way, foul creature! I cannot concentrate on the ritual. The fury of the Great One is further quelled. That's the spirit, my children. I feel the Great One responding. Now, focus your powers on the Guardian Tree. It 
Is it over? The Great One's anger abates. You've done well, my children. Master Atoa? Do you truly live? Live? Um, not as you would define the word. May I in the heart of Serenia here, whose strength I borrowed to join you. It's a miracle. Aye, it may very well be. Or perhaps the mother crystal heard this old soul's wish. I lived a long and fruitful life. And when I drew my last breath in Ogomoro that day, I did so with one profound regret. That I would pass from this realm without finding a worthy inheritor to bequeath my knowledge in full. My spirit left my lifeless body to abide in this soul crystal, with the hope that one day it would find its way into the hands of my successor. For years my consciousness slumbered in darkness, until I met Serenia. From the moment he took my crystal in hand I knew, Pajal or not, I had at long last found one to whom I could truly pass on my knowledge. Yes, Serenia, I knew... Uh, uh, Master Toa? The power of a crystal grows faint. It would seem my all too brief sojourn here has come to an end. Farewell, Serenia of the White. Farewell, my children. I leave my forest home in your capable hands. Master Toa, he has left us. And yet, by his power, and that of his successor, Serenia, the Great One's fury is quelled, and the Twelfth Wood is safe. Though Master Toa travelled the world, no doubt his heart always remained here. In the forest home he loved, he waited for us. Why, brother, for once you almost sound wise beyond your years. Strange, is it not? Perhaps I finally learned something from you, dear sister. As I could learn something from you, Arun. Your pride as a pagel, your deep respect for our past. These are traits to be admired. The same can be said for Master Tower's liberality. Yes, I believe there's a place for both beliefs among our kind. The road was long and winding, but at long last our work is done. Let us return to Camp Tranquil. Let's go. You've restored harmony to the forest. To meet Master Toa in the flesh. Well, not flesh, perhaps. I'm still shaken from my experience. And from the poor joy of seeing peace return to my forest home at last. I will be forever grateful to you, Serenia. I'm honored that we were able to heal the wood together. I speak not only for myself. My brother has expressed the same sentiments. Where Master Tower here, I'm sure he would say the same. Though perhaps he is still here in some form. Behold, the final piece of your garb now pulses with his ancient power. Yes, there can be no doubt that Master Atawa intended this as a parting gift to you. Take it, and wear, with, wear it with pride, Serenia of a White. Before we part, I would bestow unto you a present of my own. By the ancient powers vested in me as seats here, 
I bestow upon you the greatest incantation known to our kind. May you ever heed the will of the elementals and use it in wisdom and compassion. Phew, I'm not given to formalities. I swear I do not know how my sister manages. In the short time I've known you, Serenia, you have grown into a fine white mage. I'm honored to call you my peer. Use your powers in moderation and let compassion be your guide. And I have no doubt that you will bring succor and solace wherever your journey takes you. Great, we get the healer's robe, which is uh, resembling the classical Final Fantasy healer's robe, and we get benediction, which is an instant cure full effect. Atoakan speaks unto you, imparting newfound powers. And this concludes the White Mage quest for a Worm Reborn. We can continue once we are in Heaven's Ward and have. Yeah. And we get here from Wyo. Scene White. And how the healer's robe looked, we have already seen on Master Toa. In fact, he was also bearing the White Mage's Relic weapon. And also we get a cover with Cleric equipment, which is the same equipment in a little bit fancier. But that shall be it for this episode. Until next time, when we explore more Final Fantasy XIV, I am Ace and... Don't get lost.